dear students welcome to my classroom so in this class i am going to complete our new chapter so our previous chapter applications of trigonometry okay uh, let us start today's class eighth problem the angles of elevation of the top of the tower from two points at a distance of 4 meter and 9 meter are in a straight line with the tower are complementary find the height of the tower that is the question now the solution first imagine the situation so this is the tower and here this picture is is observer he is observing the top of the tower from two points and the angles of elevations are given complementary that is their sum is 90 degrees that is if we take one angle is theta then the second one is 90 minus theta because they are complementary so now draw the picture for this situation so this is the figure of lines a b c d where bc is 9 4 meters and bd is 9 meters so now let us start let us start writing a b be the height of the tower c and d are points of observation given angle acb is theta uh, given bc is equal to 4 and bd is equal to 9 meters let angle acb be theta then angle adb is 90 minus theta because they are complementary now from angle abc we can write tan c is equal to ab by bc that is tan theta is equal to ab by 4 so take it as equation 1 now take the second triangle that is from triangle abd we can write tan d is equal to ab by bd angle d is 90 minus theta so tan 90 minus theta 90 degrees minus theta is equal to ab by 9 but we know that tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta okay complementary of tan is cot so tan 90 minus theta is cot theta take it as equation 2 now from this two equation that is multiplying this two equation we get tan theta into cot theta is equal to ab by 4 into ab by 9 so multiplying by R lhs in lhs and rhs in rhs 1 is equal to ab square by 36 tan into cot is 1 because they are transverse of each other ab into ab ab square by 4 into 9 36 Now AB square is equal thirty six. AB is equal to root thirty six, which is equal to six, where the AB is the height of the tower. So students, the height of the tower is six meters. Now the ninth problem is the angle of elevation of a Z plane from a point A on the ground is sixty degrees. After a flight of fifteen seconds, the angle of elevation changes to thirty degrees. If the jet plane is flying at a constant height of fifteen hundred to three meter, find the speed of the jet plane. So the students, here it is the jet plane, and from a point. The angle of elevation of jet plane is sixty degrees, and after fifteen seconds, that is, at flying some distance, 
the angle of elevation change change to 30 degrees the height of the jet plane the jet plane is flying it at a constant rate of 1500 root 3 meters that is height of the jet plane is 1500 root 3 meter now the question is what is the speed of the plane students we know that speed is equal to distance by time if the time is given 15 seconds then what is the distance traveled by the jet plane in 15 seconds that is the question okay so the height is constant 1500 root 3 meters now draw the lines for this picture first the angle of elevation of jet plane is 60 degrees and after some time that is after 15 seconds the angle of elevation is 30 degrees now a is the point of observation b c and d are vertical lines which length is 1500 root 3 meters and at c and e we have 90 degrees we know bd is horizontal line because flight is a plane is flying at constant height so bd is horizontal line now write like a be the point of observation b and d are positions of plane b c and d are vertical lines and the measurements are b c is equal to d e is equal to 1500 root 3 meters angle b a c is 30 degrees and angle d a e equal to 60 degrees angle b a c is equal to 60 degrees and angle d a e is equal to 30 degrees now from triangle a b c we have tan a is equal to b c by a c that is tan 60 degrees is equal to 1500 root 3 by a c and we know tan 60 degrees equal to root 3 so that a c is equal to 1500 root 3 by root 3 which is equal to 1500 meters so we got the distance a c now from triangle ADE, tan A is equal to DE by AE. That is tan 30 degrees is equal to 1500 root 3 by AC. So after simplifying, we get AE is equal to 1500 into 3, that is 4500 meters. So AC is 1500 root 3, AE is 4500. AC is 1500 and AE is 4500. Now the distance BD, which is equal to CE, is AE minus AC. Here the CE is the distance traveled by the plane in 15 seconds. So it is equal to 3000 meters. Now the distance traveled by the plane in 15 seconds is 3000 meter therefore the speed of the plane is distance by time that is 3000 meters by 15 seconds so we can write it as 200 meter per second that is the speed of the jet plane but usually we denote the speed of aeroplanes in kilometer per hour for that we multiply 200 with 18 by 5. So 200 into 18 by 5 kilometer per hour, that is how much it is? 720 kilometer per hour. The speed of the jet plane is 720 kilometer per hour. Okay, students. It's a beautiful problem, isn't it? Now, the next problem is The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from the foot of the building is 30 degrees and the angle of elevation of the top of the building from the foot of the tower is 60 degrees. What is the ratio of heights of tower and building? So this is the question. Here it is, you have a building and a tower. 
here i am showing you that building is taller than tower do you think why it is correct let us see the angle of elevation from the foot of the building to the top of the tower is 30 degrees so angle of elevation of top of the building from the foot of the tower is 60 degrees so from these angles we can say that the building is taller than tower here now the question is what is the ratio of their heights what is the ratio of heights of tower and building so we need not to heights here just we have to find the ratio of heights that's only okay so for this scenario draw the figure okay b c d a b is height of the building c d is the height of the tower now let a b be height of the building b c c d be the height of the tower given angle ADB is 60 degrees, angle CBD is 30 degrees. Now from triangle ABD or BCD, tan B is equal to CD by BD, opposite by adjacent. That is tan 30 is equal to CD by BD. 1 by root 3 is equal to CD by BD. BD is equal to CD into root 3. So from first triangle, we had find BD. And now from second triangle also, find BD. So take this as equation one first. Now from second triangle ABD, tan D is equal to AB by BD. That is tan 60 is equal to AB by BD. Root 3 is equal to AB by BD. Now BD is equal to AB by root 3. This is second equation. Both first and second are representing BD. So by equalizing these two, we get CD root 3 is equal to AB by root 3. Now root 3 into root 3 is equal to AB by CD. AB by CD is equal to 3. CD by AB is equal to 1 by 3. Here the CD is the height of the tower and AB is the height of the building. So that the ratio of the heights of tower and building is 1 is to 3. Okay, students. So that is exercise 12.2 and the chapter applications of trigonometry. So students, uh, trigonometry is very useful and we apply in many fields of the science. So learn trigonometry very carefully and so that you are future studies will be very easy. Okay, students, that's all for today. See you in the next class. Bye.